Hello, I'm Rob. I'm Rob and Nathan. And today, in promotion of our World Cup uh, Rob and Romish versus England show, three lines, we're doing some <laughs> social media videos where we engage with you, the viewer, to encourage you to watch the show. Yes. What are we doing today, Rob? Um, two truths and a lie. I'll read out some things and you have to tell me which are true and which are a lie. No, we discuss it, don't we? It's meant to be, it's meant to be a fun. Oh, yeah, they'll be bad. Oh, they'll yeah. be laughs. Oh, God, it's going to be a laugh. They'll be, they'll be yeah. fun. No, no, actually, I just want straight answers, no chat. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> First round, World Cup mascots. Yeah. Two of these will be the truth. One will be a lie. Rob and I must use discussion and intuition to figure out which one. Correct. The World Cup is known for its mascots, but only two of the following have ever graced the finals. Okay, fine. PK, a huge jalapeno pepper with a moustache and a sombrero. That feels legit. B, Randy and Schubert. Randy is a German boy who has a giant talking McNugget for a sidekick. Okay. That Thre feels like a lie. Three, I'll see. Yeah. World Cup Willie, a line in full Union Jack kit with the words World Cup on it. <sighs> well, I remember the line. Yeah, you were seven then, weren't you? Yeah, 27. Nope. Oh, okay. I think PK's true. I remember a jalapeno. I remember a sombrero. I think Randy and Schubert might be. I think Randy and Schubert might be the line. World Cup Willie, you know, a line, it's always made sense to me that a line represents Britain, yeah. isn't it? Them being indigenous. World Cup Willie. Also, as well, he's uh, his brother, the uh, Copper America cock. Nice. Nice, no, good banter. Yeah. Uh, so do we think, hold on, what do you think? Yeah. PK, a huge jalapeno pepper with a moustache and sombrero. I think he's real, the, for Mexico. D do, would that, would you get away with PK now? I think if the Mexicans did it, fine. If I dressed up as him and I had a comedy character called PK, yeah. and I was in a full jalapeno you outfit, you and I'd pronounce it jalapeno, yeah. with a moustache and a sombrero, I think, albeit funny, not, not on. Yeah, not right. <laughs> not on. Yeah. So that time when you went to the fancy dress dressed as Blade, you remember, had a nightmare. Uh, yeah, but he was one of my favourite characters, and it was 2001. Yeah, but just don't commit that much. Okay, uh, okay so which one do we Can't think is a lie? Can't even do Aladdin anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jafar, could I go as Jafar? Yeah. I think PK's true. Well, I think PK's true. true. I, I think, think Randy and Schubert. German boy with a giant talking McNugget for a side. Come That's on. That's too corporate and commercial. Yeah. If I know anything about the World Cup... They don't like corporate commercial no. connections. It's all for the good it's of the game. The, it's about the purity of the sport. They yeah. would not attach themselves to any kind of corporations or any kind of advertising revenue. They wouldn't they? sell out, would yeah, they? There's sure. no way. It's about the love of the game. Sure there's a World Cup in Qatar in the middle of the season, but yeah. that's not, that's for the good of the game. Yeah, absolutely. It's convenient for everybody. Exactly. Um, yes, yeah, so I think Randy and Schubert. Okay, let's yeah, go. Okay, let's find out. Yeah. Yes, correct. Oh, yeah. Weird. Wicked. <laughs> Paper, you win. First time, first, time, first time I've met a brown person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Toilet humour. Oh, there we go. Jimmy Greaves got covered in dog urine after a stray run onto the pitch and stopped play. Jimmy tried to get the dog off the pitch, got down on his hands and knees to tackle it, and in the process, the dog weed all over his shirt. Feels plausible, doesn't it? Glenn Hoddle injured himself after attempting to tackle a streaker. The man who was covered in sunscreen and nothing else slid through Glenn's fingers and scampered away, leaving Hoddle to face plant on the pitch. Gary Lineker suffering from a dodgy stomach, accidentally relieved himself, accidentally, relieved himself on the pitch after stumbling trying to go for the ball. When a teammate came over to ask if he's okay, he replied, I've shit myself. Not really answering the question there, though, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, not true. too bad. It's piles. Yeah. I've got cream. I'm okay, but I have shit myself. That's true. We know that's we true. We know that to be true, yeah. Right. Uh, Glenn Hoddle. What do we think? I think I there's unnecessarily, de unnecessary detail there to make it look real like slip through his fingers. It was just sunscreen. Who knows? Who also, asked? Glenn Hoddle strikes me as the sort of person that thinks, you know, if it's his destiny to be a streaker, let him do it. You know, that's what, that's yeah. what he's supposed to do. The energy and the flow of the yeah. world. He's decided it? that he wants to show his naked form if he to wants, the crowd. If he wants to get his dick out yeah. at Craven Cottage. Eileen says it's fine. <laughs> let him get on with it. So we're going to go that the, the lie is Glenn Hoddle. No. I, is that what you want to do? I think Glenn Hoddle's the liar. You I think, think the Jimmy, Jimmy Greaves got, got pissed covered on by a dog? Yeah. I agree. OK, let's and go. And Gary Lineker done a poo-poo. Yeah, Glenn Hoddle's a liar. Ah! Oh, so great. Love our new greeting. <laughs> Nicknames. OK. Dion Dublin, who never played at the World Cup but did get four caps, is reported to have the nickname the Shower Clearer because of the size of his manhood. What an incredible... Oh, by the way. What this is a bit rude. What an incredible nickname. 
for that. Alex Ferguson so allegedly you know, called it magnificent. That is true, by the way. That is absolutely magnificent. OK, so we know that's true. Let's yeah. go for the Harry Maguire one. has a nickname Slabhead, thanks in part to his large head, but mainly because of his teammate Jamie Vardy. Vardy once interrupted a press conference to ask, Harry, is Jamie Vardy here from Vardy Express? How big is the diameter of your head? Well, I think I know that as well. Yeah, that's he is true. definitely called Slabhead, yeah. So, if you've watched any 30 seconds of TikTok, you know that. OK. Uh, OK, next one. I mean, Hargreaves was nicknamed Janine because he was obsessed with EastEnders and once missed training after sitting through the Sunday Omnibus. He was so angry at the murder of his favourite character, Barry, that he reportedly used it to fire himself up during penalties and was the only one to score against Portugal. Well, I listen, love what they've done here, but it's nonsense. Yeah, I mean, listen, I can imagine Owen Hargreaves liking EastEnders, but he was a bit of a, like... He was pretty straight-laced, wasn't he? There's no way There's he liked no EastEnders. Way. He was Canada and then moved to Germany. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like a little sample of English culture, isn't it? Yeah. But I just can't see him missing training for it. He was like a proper, like, he was a proper keynote, wasn't he? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, I think it's, knee injury. Yeah. We think it's, uh... It's Hargreaves is yeah. the lie. Ah, oh, and again. Okay. World Cup bans. Oh. Chile were banned from the 1994 World Cup after their goalkeeper pretended to be injured after being hit by a firecracker thrown from the crowd in a game against Brazil in an attempt to get the game cancelled. It turned out the keeper had faked the whole thing, cutting his own head with a razor blade hidden in his gloves. Longer <gasps> or shorter than reading out your audiobook? <laughs> On a par! <laughs> That is, cut his head of a razor blade's intense. Yeah, I think that's true. Next M one. Mexico were banned from the 1990 World Cup after they broke rules for maximum player age. He not only fielded players that were too old at under 20 level, but FIFA decided to ban the senior team as well as junior ones from all competitions. Mm, what do you think? I don't know. I'm going to hear all of them. Okay. Australia were kicked out of the 1930 World Cup after failing to reach Uruguay on time. The boat taking them broke down in the middle of the journey and they were forced to land in French Polynesia and wait for the next ship. By the time they arrived, the cup was over. I think that's got to be true because I can't imagine these guys have like thrown in French Polynesia off their own back. So they look Who like wrote trustworthy these? guys. You wrote them. No. Okay, what do we think? I think they're all lying to us. <laughs> I think razor blade true. I think the Mexico one's the false one. I think Australia. Okay. Were they well, qualifying for the World Cup in 1930? And they get kicked out for failing to get there on time. It's French Polynesia on that route. Let me look. That's a great shout. Because allowed to. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna, might as well Google the answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Google Australia in the 1930 World Cup. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I just do that. Just sort of cut out the middle, man. Let me have a look. <laughs> 1930 <laughs> World Cup. Let's have a look. So yeah, oh look, how Australia missed out on going to the World Cup. Yeah, so that one's, that's true. Okay, that was true. Okay, hang on, let me, look up what's the other one? Chili razor blade. <laughs> Chili razor blade, okay. So, so we think Mexico, the Mexico, Mexico one's the yeah. lie. Mexico's the lie. What? You, you just go and call me. What is it? What's he think of? Okay. Yeah, no, I've not read that, I've not read that properly. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Wow. We Googled the answers and still got it wrong. Yeah. <sighs> All right, come on, let's go to the next one. Can you I research this afterwards, off camera? Right, oh, okay. But that's how it happened. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that, that's, a, that's a frustrating. <laughs> During the 98 shootout against Argentina, David Batty allegedly told Glenn Hoddle that he eats penalties and shit skulls <laughs> before going to hit his spot kick straight at the keeper. That can't be true. That's got to be true. The Argentina keeper that saved back his penalty re retired from football a year later, age of 29, because he thought the world was going to end and wanted to prepare for the apocalypse. If the world's going to end, what's the prep there? Unless you're building a rocket, I don't understand what you're going to do. Stephen Hawking is quoted as saying, universe is big, isn't it? And no, he said. As we say in science, England couldn't hit a cow's ass with a banjo. And in 2014, he developed a formula for the perfect penalty. England didn't make it out of the group. Okay. Right, so. That Argentina one's true. I think I remember hearing yeah. about that. I think the, uh, the David Batty one's true. Stephen Hawking being quoted as saying, as we say in science and... Yeah, but he liked to laugh. He used to like Strictly, didn't he? Yeah. He once went round Jimmy Carr's house and had dinner and watched them just do Strictly. Rachel oh, really? Riley went down and danced for him. I think Stephen Hawking would have said... I reckon he would have done a formula for the perfect penalty and yeah, he would but have said that as a, quote. Bit, think... as a bit of banter. He's okay, not, fine, he fine. Do, so you not, think that's true? All right. You know, I think that's true. I think David... So you Bat think the first one's... Incorrect. I don't think Batty said I eat these penalties and shit goals. Okay, fine. We're going to go with another one as a life. Right? I think David Batty. Correct! Correct. Stephen Hawking was for the end. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, that has been. That was a great game and a lot of effort went into that. And, yeah, I and thought if you, you read it really well. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really fun way to decide whether you want to watch us uh, in Robin Romish versus Three Lines. Make sure you watch it, please. If you like that, then 
Sorry to break to you, none of that's in the show. So I'd argue if you like this, you won't like the show, but then we've not done our job. No. What I would say, if you did like this, then probably give the show a go. But that, if you didn't like this, that's a good sign because it's nothing like the show. Yeah, so if you like this, don't watch the show. No, if you do like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Basically, if you did or you if don't If you enjoyed watch the show, this, do you know what? Don't Just bother. Watch it, make your own mind up. Yeah, yeah. Also, we've been paid, I don't care if you watch it or not. We and don't a little get... fun extra game, two of the things we said are true, one was a lie. Good luck. Have we not been paid? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> so what happened in Australia in 1930?